A 13-year-old boy, relying on his self-taught book knowledge, built a wind turbine with a bicycle and saved the lives of his entire village. He explains with his action what knowledge changes fate. This is an excellent inspirational film set in the small African country of Malawi. People here live a very poor life by growing crops. Now it is the 21st century, but there is no mechanical equipment here. The villagers have to rely on human power to cultivate and harvest. The weather in Africa is very dry and the crops are very barren. People can only rely on the sky to eat, once encounter drought, in addition to praying to the gods to bless, there is no way. William was born here, and for the children here, school is the only thing that can change their fate. Although he did not go to school, William's hands-on ability is very strong, and he helps the village people to repair various small electrical appliances. William has a very enlightened mother, and seeing that William has such a strong desire to learn, she insists on sending him to school even though the family is very poor. When William put on the school uniform, he was very happy, because his dream was to learn knowledge. After coming to school, William was also as hungry and frantic to learn. Here, he met a physics teacher, which made the hands-on William very excited. After school, William took his friends to the scrapyard and started collecting materials for various experiments. William's greatest hobby in his daily life is to study various electrical appliances. One day, when he and his buddies got together, the radio suddenly ran out of power. When no one else could do anything about it, William used a bunch of old batteries in series to power the radio, and his friends cheered for his ingenuity. After attending the party, William and his friends accidentally bump into his sister and physics teacher on their way home, and the two of them fall in love. But it was not this incident that caught William's attention, he noticed a glowing light on the front of the physics teacher's bicycle. In this poor village where electricity was a luxury, where did the lamp get its power? The next day, he found the teacher's bicycle and studied it. It turned out that the light was powered by a miniature generator driven by the rotation of the wheel, and William was very curious. After school, the teacher found William and told him that he could no longer stay at school because his father had not paid enough tuition. This made William very sad, and when he returned home, he overheard his parents talking. It turned out that the family had run out of money, and now it was difficult to eat, not to mention his tuition fees. After hearing this, the understanding William left in silence. This is the life of the poor. He could only come to school secretly, in order to be able to attend one more class and learn a little more. That day, people from the tobacco company came to the village, intending to buy the villagers land, and they wanted to cut down the flood control forest around the village. Faced with the lure of money, most of the villagers agreed, but William's father was strongly opposed. Because the rainy season is coming soon, when the floods are overflowing, their crops will be left without the protection of the trees, and everyone will starve. However, his voice alone was too small to stop the poor villagers, and soon the hordes of machines came and cut down the woods on which they relied for their livelihood. As William's father said, the rainy season came and flooded all the crops. The father knelt alone in the rain, knowing the hunger and famine that awaited them. The angry father takes William to the owner of the tobacco company, hoping to get help from the other side, but all he gets in return is endless ridicule. The boss also told his father the bad news that a drought would follow after the heavy rains, and the village would then be plunged into a huge famine. Sure enough, the land was cracked because of the drought and most of the crops were dried up. Seeing this tragic scene, William decided to do something about it. He thought that if he could pump water out of the ground, then he could irrigate the crops and they would not suffer a famine. So William found his physics teacher and asked him how the bicycle generated electricity. The teacher told him that it was because there was a DC generator behind the wheels of the bicycle, and the wheels turned to produce electricity. William then asked, can I make my own generator? He told William that there were books on the subject in the library, so you could go look and learn. So, under the guidance of the teacher, William found the relevant books in the library and began to learn on his own. At this time, the president came to the village to canvass for his election, and the village chief wanted to take this opportunity to ask the president for help. 
But the president didn't care about people's lives, instead he let people beat the chief violently, and then a group of people left. By the time the crops are harvested, William's family has a large area of land, but only a small amount of food is harvested, and even the family's rations are not enough to live on next year. At this point, the Williams family began to think of ways. In order to survive the famine, they tried every possible way, even taking down the iron roof and selling it, but could only get very little money in exchange. The hungry people began to protest and try to get the government's attention, and William's father rushed to get involved, and he saw people fleeing on the road, fighting over a little food. While his father was away, the relief organization's food truck came to the village and all the villagers lined up to buy food, and his mother sent William forward. William managed to squeeze into the granary with his small size, and at that moment there were a large number of people outside who wanted to buy grain. They crowded to get in, but the grain was limited and could not satisfy everyone. If they went out through the front door, the grain would be looted. So William dug a hole from the side of the warehouse, sneaking towards home. At that moment, a group of fleeing people came to William's house and took away all their food. Now only the dozen or so pounds of food that William brought back were left, and they couldn't make it through. William found his sister and wanted her to bring the generator from the teacher's bike, so he could figure out how to make a generator to power the pump and solve the drought problem. The sister listened and agreed to him, but what he didn't expect was that she never came back after she found the teacher. She left that place with the teacher, leaving only the generator and a letter saying that she would have one less person to feed if she left the house. The sister's departure made her parents sad, but there was nothing they could do to change that. William could not care less about this, and now had to rely on himself. He made a small model windmill to generate electricity and managed to power a radio. With his windmill model, William found his father, who was working and tried to convince him to take down his bicycle and use its wheels to make a big windmill so that it could generate electricity and pump water to irrigate the land. His father was very angry after hearing this, and his father, who had never been to school, could not understand what William was talking about and thought it was nonsense. But William didn't give up. He got some friends and tried to take away his father's bicycle. But his father didn't give in at all and scared his buddies away with a few words. The buddies gave up and decided to leave the place and go north to find a hope to live. Hunger has taken the lives of villagers one after another, and if this continues everyone here will not survive. This time, William's mother stepped forward and accused her father that her daughter had chosen to leave, because she could not survive here, and since William had thought of a way to save the villagers, he should be allowed to try. The stubborn father finally compromised and decided to support William. He dismantled the bicycle and called the village to help together and made a huge windmill with trunks of trees. The wind turbine slowly turned and started the pump, and when the clear water slowly flowed out of the pipe, the whole village was boiling. This water gave them hope for survival, and in this way, William used his ingenuity to save the lives of the entire village. The movie is based on a true story, William ended up going to college and studying in a developed country. We are in modern society, it is difficult to imagine what it is like to endure hunger. But you may not know that there are still millions of poor people in Africa, they are still struggling on the line of subsistence. Are they lazy by nature? Are they not hardworking? Many people are hardworking, but because of the geographical environment and natural and man-made disasters. Make them on the verge of collapse, poverty is not terrible, what is terrible is ignorance. When fate gives you trials and tribulations, do not blame God and do not give up on yourself. Instead, try to enrich your knowledge and be a person who is not afraid of hardship. Only knowledge and indomitable spirit can change the fate of the poor. After watching this movie, I would like to say that knowledge can really change fate.